I looked and looked and looked and on my quest, Alhamdulillah, I found Islam and I saw the justice in Islam, the justice in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the justice in the Quran. If you're really looking for peace, really looking for justice, really looking for a true purpose in life for you, your family, your friends, your society, you would no doubt enter into Islam. You know, it's the way Allah has protected me from so many bad things. SubhanAllah, I would say, you know, maybe Allah did guide me. Allah alam way. I don't know why, but maybe Allah did guide me. SubhanAllah. Allahumma thabbithum ala al-Iman warzuqhum a'la al-Jinan kama razaqtahum hidayat al-Qur'an Bil-Qur'an, ihtadai. Bil-Qur'an, ihtadai. Fi rahmihi, tahlu al-hayat. شوقا إلى المولى هداي أسلمت روحي للإله نور الحنايا والطلوع لله أعلنت الرجوع آياته تغدو شموع ويفيض في قلبي سنا نور الحنايا والطلوع Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Shaquille Romero. I'm a revert to Islam, alhamdulillah. I'm at the age of 23 and I came to Islam at the age of 15. Shaquille, irtahtu lahu min awwali ma ra'aytu abtisamatah. Shab, yuhibbu aghani al-raab. Aslama bi sabab adli al-Islam. Waltaqaytu ma'ahu fi London. I came to Islam due to a serious tragedy in my family. My family suffered some problems with a so-called gang in my local area. My older brother, who I love dearly, got into some trouble. He was 11 years older than me. As he got into trouble with this gang, this gang decided to pull out a firearm on my father, a gun. And whilst I was 11 years old, I was looking out my window and I saw my father being shot at. Alhamdulillah, he didn't get shot. They missed. However, this led to this particular gang and this particular family to come and cause loads of grief and problems for me and my family. Uh, the, the main people this incident harmed was my mother. It led to my mother having a nervous breakdown. This caused for me to look for justice in the world. <laughs> جعلك وأثر فيك وجعلك تقرأ عن الإسلام وتبحث عن الإسلام وعن الحق. Yes, it made me not want to look for Islam. It made me want to look for justice. I never heard about Islam before. I'm looking anywhere I can find for justice. I looked and looked and looked and on my quest, Alhamdulillah, I found Islam and I saw the justice in Islam, the justice in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the justice in the Quran. And young people, they like stories, stories, stories. So I'd read these stories and I found all these different stories of great heroic men. And in every history of uh, religions and culture, people will go to war. Then when I looked at these stories in Islam, I saw that when these Muslims went to war, they were very just. They did not transgress the limits. And then what I found out is an ayat from in the Quran, from Allah, what could mean, and fight those who fight you. And do not transgress the limits. For Allah does not like those who transgress. This is what made my heart think, SubhanAllah, this is so just. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى وقاتلوا في سبيل الله الذين يقاتلونكم ولا تعتدوا إن الله لا يحب المعتدين. كانت هذه الآية هي النور الذي أضاء قلب شكيل المضطرب الذي رأى بعينه الظلم والاعتداء على أهله فوجد العدل في هذا الإسلام 
remember going on a bus, I used to go to my friend's house and on the way there used to be two masjids on the way. Every time I used to go past the masjid, I'd always be staring at the masjid on the bus, staring at the masjid, thinking my heart belonged in this place. It didn't look scary, it looked very warm and welcoming. It didn't look like these people don't want you in here, it looked like, come in. And this is when I decided, you know, the fact that I keep on thinking about this, you know, I need to do something about it. So I decided and I told my friend, I'm going to take my Shahada. <laughs> moment I decided to take my Shahada is I read a book about Islam and it made everything clear. So I said to my friend, I'm going to the masjid now to take my Shahada. So I was walking, walking, walking and I saw a big masjid and I'm looking up and I'm shaking now, I'm getting scared. So I said, no, I have to do this. So I keep on walking and walking and I go in up the stairs through the door and I see all these men with big beards staring at me. Remember, I'm 15 and young. And I'm looking around, looking around, you know, nervous, nervous, looking around. And then one man comes up to me and he grabs me. He goes, are you Muslim? I said, no. I said, I've come here to take my shahada. He said, okay, mashallah. He goes, okay, come with me. Then he took me into the big hall, like this one here, and he sat me down. And he says, why do you want to take your shahada? Then I explained to him the same reasons of what I have said. Then he said, okay. And then he called one brother here and another brother. He said, this young boy, he wants to take his shahada. So then he said, okay, you're going to say some words in Arabic, then I'll translate in English. Then he said, repeat after me. And then he gave me, ashadu. And I said, ashadu. la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. Then I said this, and then he said, okay, now go home and have a bath. I was so happy inside, subhanAllah, so happy that after that, when I went home, I had a bath, I put uh, atar on my body, and I had all these uh, hats, kufi hats, yeah? I remember going to sleep with it on my head. And one time I woke up 12 o'clock at night, and I thought it wasn't on my head. So I quickly put it back on. Allah, I love why. I don't know why. But this, it made me feel so happy and just pure. And it's like I started life again. That's how I felt. And every day from that, I still feel fresh. <laughs> So after uh, taking my shahada, I would read and I uh, come across a verse in the Quran where it's Ya ayyu aladina amanu. O you who believe, enter into Islam wholeheartedly, with two feet. Don't be one way, altogether. And this is what inspired me and increased me to stay strong. Islam is a beautiful religion. If you're really looking for peace, really looking for justice, really looking for a true purpose in life, for you, your family, your friends, your society, you would no doubt enter into Islam. So look into Islam properly. Don't look into Islam with somebody else's eyes. Look into Islam with your eyes. Read the Quran, not with your eyes, with your heart. <laughs> ورشفت من نفحاته ما عذب القرآن في القرآن برحمه تحلو الحياة شوقا إلى المولى تاري
فصل كان ميقاتا يوم ينفق في السور فتعتون أفواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرات الجبال فكانت صرابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا لطاغين مآبا أتمنى أني أقبل رأسك على هذه القراءة يعني أنت تقول لي لا تعرف أن تقرأ القرآن وتقرأ بهذا الشكل اللي أنا أعتقد أن كثير من المسلمين ومن الجامعيين ومن الأكاديميين لا يستطيعون أن يقرأوا بمثل هذا الشكل يا منزل القرآن نورا على أحمدا أحسست باطمئنان بالنور لما ابتدى ثبتني يا الله على طريق الهدى ثبتني يا So being at that young age, we look for role models. We always look for role models. And me at this age, I'm looking, I'm looking, I can't find. I see singers, I see rappers, I see actors. They look outside, it's like, wow, you think, yeah, I want to be like this. When you read and you hear about the reality of their life and the things that they do, I was like, no, you know, I do not want to be this. I feel I can be greater. I feel like I can be better. In my heart, this doesn't feel right for me to do these things. اقتدى شكيل بشخصية إسلامية عظيمة وقائد عسكري محنك اختاره النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم في معركة كان يشارك بها كبار الصحابة إنه الصحابي الجليل أسامة بن زيد السؤال الآن أين شبابنا من هذه النماذج المشرقة؟ I remember one time I was on the bus with a few friends and I had a friend that was a few, year, few years older than me and he became Muslim before me so I had a bit more knowledge than me Something happened where we was complaining about an issue in our life We're complaining, complaining and complaining Then my friend turned around and said, do you know, we complain so much, but in the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there was a young man or a young boy, and his name was Osama Ibn Zayd. At the age of 17, he was a commander of the whole Muslim army. And this really touched me. And I thought, wow, that is really deep. SubhanAllah, that is deep. And this is something which made me inspired this made me think i could be doing so much more of my life how could i complain about this thing in my life when I, there was a boy that once existed that done this great lofty thing so then again i'm reading and reading and i hear this great story of a young boy and being young at this age again we are told all the time you can only be great and uh, you can only be great when you become older in your career in your life but then i hear this boy about 16, 17 years old, he is the commander of the whole Muslim army. Inside this army, there's great men like Umar ibn al-Khattab. Allah. So I say, SubhanAllah, what is this? How did he become like this? So then this made me want to read more and more and more. Then I found out about so many great Sahaba. And, you know, a lot of them were youth. And yet they had these great traits. They would speak the truth. They would pray all the time. They would help women, they would help men, they would help children all the time. They would care about everything. And I said, this is the type of person I want to be. When I grow up, I want my story to be like these people. And this is what made me say, you know what? I'm putting it in wholeheartedly because I want to be like this. After Islam, you read the Quran in the Quran. You read the Quran in the Quran. And there are the verses that you have been there. It affected your heart. So after I entered Islam, uh, still that yaqeen, the certainty was, wow. you know, one minute here. I wanted to know, but I believed in Allah. 
I believe in all the prophets, all of them. But still, I just wanted to hear some wisdom for me. So I would read and read and read and some things would touch me, some things not. And then I come across an ayat, an ayat in Surah Hadid, where it says, Has the time not come for those who believe in Allah, for their hearts to become full of remembrance of Allah? Allah subhanallah. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى ألم يأني للذين آمنوا أن تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله وما نزل من الحق ولا يكون كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم وكثير من الفاسقون هذه الآية العظيمة من الله سبحانه وتعالى التي يعاتبنا فيها ببعدنا عن كتاب الله سبحانه وتعالى كثير منا يمر على هذه الآية ولا يتدبرها ولا يعرف معناها ولا يعرف قيمة هذه الآية في حياتنا كمسلمين في القرآن اهتدي في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتاي أسلمت روحي للإله جميل أن يسخر الإنسان مواهبه وقدراته لخدمة دينه ومجتمعه وهذا ما عزم عليه شكيل ما شاء الله أرى جسمك رياضي ما شاء الله تبارك الرحمن عندك هواية رياضية نعم جزاك الله خير كل ما شاء الله ما شاء الله تبارك الله صح الله. صح صح نعم from a young age I used to always do boxing and kickboxing I grew up and grew up and then I had a bad injury in my leg then I stopped for many years I started again and then when I was 13 I'm more serious Alhamdulillah, it's a very rough place I used to go and then um, when I took my shahada I had to stop because to hit in the face is not good. Yeah. My mum was happy. She says, Alha she didn't say Alhamdulillah, she said, thank God. <laughs> she says, your face is going to have a horrible nose. She says, no more. So I said, okay, but I want to be fit. So what I did is carry on doing the training but not hitting in the face, no, no more, khalas. Um, I've done some martial arts as well and even now um, I teach children and young boys boxing how to defend themselves no hitting in the face this i give is the history of islam strictly given the facts let's flick out a map of a world that you once thought was flat back 1400 years ago in a saudi arabian desert came down from the heavens holy scriptures to a man to convey the message his name was muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam a man made from love mercy, wisdom and the truth inspired men and women to deliver this message down to you through Egypt to Morocco right down to Andalus that we now call Spain these are true stories of warriors and scholars kings, soldiers, the wise who spread their knowledge across their borders whether with boats, foot, camels or horses I relate to you an imagery of a history which seems to be distorted you know, with all humbleness, I don't like to say, you know, Allah guided me and Allah blessed me. But hearing this story, subhanAllah, the amount of things or the amount of ways I could have gone, prison, dead, on the streets doing silliness, and yet now I'm here, a young man, in the masjid, you know, the way Allah has protected me from so many bad things, SubhanAllah, I would say, you know, maybe Allah did guide me. Allah alam why, I don't know why, but maybe Allah did guide me. SubhanAllah. Alhamdulillah. نحن فعلا بحاجة إلى إيصال قصص القدوات الإسلامية إلى أولادنا وشبابنا وأطفالنا بأفضل الطرق. سواء بالشعر أو بالإنشاد أو مثلا بالقصص المكتوبة. في نهاية الحلقة وهذه الأجواء الجميلة والرائعة في هذه الحديقة في لندن أريد أن أعرف أمنيتك ماذا تتمنى يا أخي يا شكيل أمنيتك الدعوية ماذا يريد أخي شكيل uh, My dream I wish uh, I wish the thing that inspired me to become a Muslim again was the great stories in the Quran and the inshallah. great stories of the Sahaba so I would like to share this with the world inshallah especially to the non-Muslims so if I could have a series, a, a series of videos where I do poetry or spoken word telling the stories of these great heroes in Islam and how great they were, 
this would be my wish to be able to do this a whole series inshallah yeah shakil ihtam fi hadhihi mashallah al 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 hiwaya li 'inda fi al rab walakin sakharha fi fi qasas al quran sakharha fi qasas al sahaba kay yusahilha ala al atfal wazzaha al atfal huna fi al gharb walakin yurid al umniya an tusajjal hadhihi al al videoat alati ya'malha wa yatam tawziha likay takun da'wa ila allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi idhnillah azza wa jal ikhwanak في موقع نون القراني المتخصص في القراءات سوف يكونون داعمين الى ما تريد ويحققون لك باذن الله عز وجل هذه الامنيه وانا سعيد جدا بهذا اللقاء يا اخي وحبيبي باذن الله الله سبحانه وتعالى ييسر لك امورك ويثبت قلبك على الاسلام وتكون دائما داعيا الى الله سبحانه وتعالى مؤثرا باصحابك هنا في الغرب كي يدخلوا في الاسلام باذن الله عز وجل بارك الله فيك يسير بدار بقرآن فيشرق صرح والحان أرتله وأحفظه وأقرأه بمعان يسير بدار بقرآن ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ولما تهت ثم أتيت لدرب كلام رب البيت وجدت النور والسلوى مع القرآن اهتدي مع القرآن اهتدي Let's see you again.